Hey guys, and welcome back everybody. Well guys, what a month we have been having here. I am sure that no matter where you reside in the world, you have likely heard of all the horrific wind, the rain, in which we have been calling atmospheric rain, as well as the many flood warnings with catastrophic results, British Columbia has had it all this month alone. And it has been just crazy. Now, fortunately, in my area, we have not had the flood warnings. However, we have had the wind and the rain and the snowfall warnings. And now, as a result of all that rain we've been having, it's been very difficult for me to get outside to be able to get a day where it's not raining in order to take these videos. So, unfortunately, that resulted in being halfway through the following month. But, unfortunately, things happen, and so hopefully we can get back onto track. So, we started this all back in June, and we're now into December, six months later. Now, as you know, each month we've been coming back to see where we're at with results one month later. So, we're anxious to see what the results will be this month. Now, basically, we have three products left in our test, and one is on its way out. Now, if you'd like to see the application of these products, I'll link the video in the description below. Now, before we get into the results, I would just like to say that if you like this video, please click the thumbs up icon. And as always, I love reading and replying to your comments. And of course, if you like the videos I post, please consider subscribing. Hitting the bell icon will notify you of each video that I post. It also helps me out and it shows that there's an audience for them. Thanks guys. But anyways, let's get on to our test and see where we're at with the results six months later. I want to start off the same way like my other videos and show you the current condition of the panel. Now here we are with the panel where we applied six detailing sprays back in June. And with the previous month, we have had so much rain that pretty much most of the dirt has just been washed off the night before. So we're going to start off by rinsing off the panel. Then up next, we're now going to foam off the panel using Chemical Guys Honeydew Foam Soap, which is a pH balanced car soap. That means it'll leave no residue on the panel. We're going to let it settle for a minute or two to allow it to emulsify the dirt. Okay, so time to wash the panel off with our Chemical Guys Honeydew Foam Soap using this high quality soft microfiber wash pad. And then finally, we'll rinse off the panel again. All right, so let's get up close and see where we're at after six months. Now, remember, we have two control areas on either side, which we can be used as a good comparison to show what the panel looks like with no protection on it. And of course, you can see on the left-hand side, both top coat F11 and shine armor are completely dead and as you can see with the completely flat water which is matching the non-protected control area. Up next the last coat the original formula. Now if you remember from the last month's video TLC the original formula was getting weaker but wasn't completely gone and so we let it go for another month. So let's see where we're at now. Well, same thing, it's looking weaker, but it's really trying to hold on. It's definitely not flat like the other two competitors before it, Shine Armor and Top Coat F11. So, once again, we'll let it go for one more month and see how long it takes before it shows the same results of the other two products. Now, we're up to TLC2. And... Well, once again, it seems to be sheeting the water nicely. Up next, Deep Ice, now formerly known as Black Ice when I originally started the video series, which is why you'll notice that it says BI for the initials. 
Well, very similar to TLC2, you can see it breaking through the water tension. Now we already called Beadmaker dead in the previous video, so we're just going to skip it. And comparing the two stronger products, TLC2 and Deep Ice, well, you can see that once the water tension is broken, you can definitely see that both products are still holding on strong. So next we're going to change the water pressure for a garden hose and this time we're going to use the shower setting. And as you can see, it looks like we're getting the same results. So now we're going to change it to the soaker setting. And this way we can really drench off that panel. Oh wow, I definitely can say I'm not the only person that's seeing a difference there. Okay, and finally, just the regular angle spray. Oh wow, that is just night and day. And as you can see on the left hand side, the original TLC is trying to push its way through. Okay, so where are we at with the results six months later? Now this month we have had a lot of horrible weather, the constant heavy rain, the wind, and even snowfall warnings, with nearly every day this month having some type of weather warning here in BC. Now this has really put the panel and the three remaining products to the test and even more snow heading our way in Vancouver. So I'm sure that this will continue. Now after six months with this panel being left outside to all these elements, it appears the results are pretty much the same as last month. Both TLC2 and Deep Ice are still hanging on strong and the original TLC is still hanging on, but just like last month, it is definitely getting weaker. However, since it's not matching the control area where there's no protection on it, I cannot call it dead just yet. Now I'm very happy to see that TLC2 and Deep Ice are still hanging on strong 
as the last coat products of what I've been using on my car for the last four years now and TLC2 nearly three years. If you are interested in purchasing from them, I do have a discount code for you. Simply enter West Coast Camaro, one word, as your discount code and receive 20% off everything off their store. I've left a link in the description below to click to enter the online store with. So, once again, I'm going to leave the panel outside for another month in which we'll come back and see how things are doing. As mentioned before, the weather forecast is calling for more snow on the way, so I look forward to next video. So, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you can be notified when the next videos are posted. And if you like this video, once again, please hit that big fat like button. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Bye. Alright, and with that, I'd like to conclude this video. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And be sure to click the little bell icon to be notified of each new video I post. Thank you for watching, and till next time.